Y25 gamers. Today, we are going to finish watching the South Korea division qualifiers. We only have one more set to watch. It is day two, set number three. I don't have any SSs to open, so we're just gonna get right into it. Who the heck is Poopy Whoopy? And here we are, it is GBB versus Team Cat. Let's see who's gonna come out on top between these two. It's round one, first half. We're gonna see Cheerleader, Mercenary, Aeroplanist, Magician going up against the Opera Singer. Yep, it's it's round one, so we expect this. Interesting that she is actually opting to ban Batter. I feel like Batter doesn't really come out in early rounds, um, unless there's like somebody specific on GBB who plays uh, who plays Batter pretty well. I, I don't think uh, I don't think that makes much sense. But yeah, the, these spawns are looking pretty clean. Aeroplanist in the middle is a little. Uh, maybe. I mean, I guess he's the rest here. I feel like Mercenary would be better in middle. Um, but I guess Mercenary is not exactly super strong against Opera as well. Nobody's really safe from Opera, no matter where we spawn, honestly. And here we go. Let's see how round one is going to begin. Round one really does determine how the rest of the set goes when it comes to these co-op matches. It looks like we are going to see Flywheel, Knee Jerk on the Magician, so he's got a full kite build. Borrowed Time, Knee Jerk on the Cheerleader. Borrowed Time, Tide on the Mercenary. And then Tide, Knee Jerk on the Aeroplane. This give him a little bit of a... A little bit of extra kiting capabilities. Oh, what the? She teleported into the pallet and Mage was right there ready for it. Dang. That is some reaction, my goodness. And she's opting to leave. Oh, careful, bro. I thought he was gonna get hit there. I really did. Maybe, maybe she didn't have full sights on him, but like, I feel like that was a little bit risky. And yeah, Charles is probably not the person you wanna have take the kite here. Oh my gosh, Opera, yo, yo. You gotta put some- and now she's gonna go back for mage? Okay, that's actually good. That is actually good, because, again, mage has full kite build. Aeroplanist has tide, and you want to keep that tide for, you know, saving the Aeroplanist, or uh, save, saving the Magician, rather. Oh, he's got that knee jerk, though. Drops a one, she should be able to- yeah, she, she can slip through that, she can slip through that. I know she can. Opera is just so freaking thin, dude. My goodness. Oh, the flywheel into the- into the- oh, 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 my gosh. Three pallet stunned on this opera. Oh my gosh, we do it with how many stuns these this team is getting? They gotta put like increased pallet stun time on uh, the persona, and she's swapping again. Oh my gosh, swapping. Yo, just just hover, Charles, bro. At this point, just hover, bro. Oh my, yeah, yeah. He's like, Maddie, I'm out, bro. I'm out, I'm out. And he's still gonna take a damage because it's freaking opera. Oh my gosh, dude. Charles is so freaking goofy. Every time I see the hover, it's just it's so funny. It's so funny, dude. I don't know how they do it that fast. I want to do like a custom match and try to... Yep, there's the knee jerk. Beautiful stuff. I don't think he makes do a pout though. Oh, wait. She kind of messes up there. TPs and then yep, he's already he's already going back. He's already going back. But when you when you try and do the hover into the jetpacks, like they do it so fast. I don't know how they do it so... Wait, when did she blink? Am I an idiot? When did she blink? Oh? Uh, I feel like I'm a doofus. All right, Aeroplanet should be dead here. No? Okay, that... That barely hit, dude. That was actual, like, pixels. Like, actual, like, pixels to hit. Like, if he got to step, like, one more, like, frame, I swear he wasn't getting hit, dude. I swear. My goodness. That was quite the early game. The Cyphers are a little behind. Just to... Uh, not necessarily. They're probably, like, in better positioning. Uh, Aeroplanist did use up all the uh, the jetpacks, and him being on the chair isn't exactly the best thing. Mage did, you did use up two uh, decoys, and Chiller used up two beep beeps, I guess. What? Why did she use? A you know what? She may she may have used up two uh, two beep beeps just to get to the chair, or just to get to a cipher faster. I have seen some cheerleaders do that, but it's a little risky. I can't lie. I mean, I, I kind of do the same thing when I'm composer. Like when I know somebody is taking the kite. Jeez, when I know somebody's taking the kite, I can freely just uh, use my little tuning. Bro, Opera's hitbox is so jank, I swear. Uh, I can freely use my tuning fork and uh, just chill up my- or just, just, just like, zoom to the next cypher. Because um, I know that, the, you know, the hunter's not going to, like, teleport to me or whatever, because they're, they're busy with somebody else. Oh, boy. Th this is looking good, though. This is looking good. This is going to be the Aeroplanist's second chair, and since they have two cyphers being worked on, uh, she can actually go pressure down this cypher, which is not great for this team. Um, she is trying on the cypher. Dang, he could have struggled free there. He actually could have struggled free. But yeah, this is this is really bad for uh, the survivors here because they are in a really good position. Uh, but now they're gonna have to like rescue, body block, and then also like pressure, like also like touch the cipher. She literally even with a beep beep actually takes a hit there. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate for the survivors. Um, you got it. You have. They have to do their best here. They have to do their best. She probably just goes for cipher eight. Oh, they're gonna try and finish this cipher. Cheerleader, be careful now. Be careful. Okay. 
Dude, the fact that she was able to chair on that Cypher is so important. Like that's so that's. So, I mean, she is after the shielder now, but she basically doesn't want that to be doesn't want that to prime. But I I think what you do here is yeah, you just kill Charles here at this point. Yeah. Now I pick up Charles and then. Oh, they, they, she's trying back on the. Okay, I thought they just popped the cipher right then and there. Um, but nope, I guess not. Interesting. Huh. Wait, no, that's not Charles. That's mercenary. I'm a doofus. That's mercenary. No wonder they're not gonna just pop. Oh, I am a doofus. Okay. Okay, Mates, Mates needs to freaking get in there, dude. He needs to get in there. He actually needs... I don't know why she's, like, going up to cheerleader here. Um, oh, she couldn't use her second beat beat because she her little Inspire was uh, on cooldown. Okay. Mage, that should be Mage getting the rest. And now they just, they just double rush Cypher. Just double rush Cypher. Oh, she's going to try and pick up cheerleader. Do they just pop? They should just pop. They should just pop. Just pop, just pop. Why? I guess they want... Oh, no, I guess they want somebody to rescue. Um... Yeah, they're they're, they're sending they're sending in mage to rescue. Does she TP to Cipher though? She shouldn't TP to Cipher. There's no point. There's no point. Mage mage can get this rescue. Mage can get this rescue. Yep. He still has decoy and flyable. He makes this rescue every time. Yep. Buying some time. Charles already at the gate. I don't think that I don't think that one was necessary. I high key don't think that one was necessary at all. Um, maybe he just wanted a little bit more distance or something. And now that they just pop. Okay. Oh right right. No he he yeah no, that that was that does make sense. That does make sense. I take that back because he has no BT. He has no BT. He has flywheel, flywheel. Good flywheel, cheerleader speed. Oh, still dies. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay, this this can maybe be a three-person escape. He does have self-heal. Cheerleader has to kite this out, though. She makes it to the pallet. Jeez, opera's so fast, dude. She is so fast. There's the pallet, there's the pallet, and then still has a beep beep, still has a beep beep. Drop it? No? Beep beep! <laughs> there's the drop, there's the drop. Does Mage gets backed up? They actually heal Mage? What? They actually opt to heal him? No way. Okay, this 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 should be this should be a three-person escape. And that that's really good against Opera. That's really good against Opera. If you can get a three-person escape, that's super good. Okay, she's got the knee jerk. Tries to juke her, but no, she goes down. She goes down. Um Okay, I don't I don't Oh, the TP? The gate's already open though, right? The gate should already be open. Uh oh no, Mage! Mage, look out, bro. Oh, no, she TP's back to chill. Okay, that's smart. That's smart. Yeah, because the thing is, even if you killed Mage there, um, he, he hasn't been on chair yet. Then Mage, then Mercenary comes over, heals chill, and then just get out the other gate. Yeah. No, just just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Just take your three escape. You don't... Do never get greedy against an opera singer if you have a three escape. Like, three escape is, like, the best you can do against an opera singer. There you go. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff, GBB. Onward to round one, second half. We're going to see Gardener, Cheese, Barmaid, and Lucky. Makes me think that they're not actually expecting an opera singer here. Maybe like a Dreamwitch or a... No, I say Dreamwitch or a Hermit, but... Thing is, we, we know that Cheese isn't super strong against opera singer, and neither is Barmaid. I mean, they, they, they can use their resources, but it's not exactly easy, right? I mean, maybe, maybe there's there's probably specific routes for a barmaid, and Cheese can also probably you know use the shovel to tank. But I feel like it's not as reliable as some of the other characters that we've seen. But you know, these are pros. Let's see let's see what they can cook up here. I'm also excited to see the lucky guy. I also probably should have mentioned that uh, I, I, I if you're new to this channel, I do I call um I call Gravekeeper Cheese a lot because of the cheese skin, and it's it's kind of just become a habit where I literally only call him Cheese. Uh, we're gonna see blink detention, trump card, fast pallet break, and um. I think a bit of stun reduction on there on Opera Singer. Uh, yeah, Cheese is going to go up on here. Does he use a shovel to fall through or does he just take the hit? Let's see. Will he fall through or... Can you even fall through up here? I'm pretty sure you can. No, he's going to take the hit. That's going to take the hit. I thought he might drop down through. That way um, That way he wouldn't feed Opera presents. But honestly, it doesn't really matter if Opera gets presents. The, the biggest thing is Opera is just don't die. Don't die. If she has presents, so be it. She's going to get her presents anyways. Um, but yeah, Cheese is doing a good kite here so far. He's going to have another shovel to work with sometime here soon. Um... And but he does have tide though. That's the thing. He's their main tide user. Barmaid does have borrow time, knee jerk, along with the gardener. And yeah, cheese, cheese got tied. Oh dang! He didn't even have much time to use that shovel. My goodness. Uh, but yeah, he he he's got borrow time. Uh, wait, no, cheese, has, cheese has wait, cheese has no BT. Interesting. But they also have borrow time tied on Lucky, who has a gun and a syringe. Good stuff from Lucky. Um, and but yeah, unfortunately, cheese is probably just gonna die here. The blink already has been used, and she's kind of just doing his best to survive. Ooh, good plays. These are good plays from the survivors. Uh, but the ciphers do feel a little slow. I can't even lie. These ciphers do feel a little slow. One being at 50, I'm not really sure if I'm the biggest fan of that. 
Uh, Opera, her dash is on cooldown though. This is good. This is good. Okay. She should be dead here. There's not really anywhere else for him to go. He's going to die in a corner away from all the ciphers. Yep. This is a good spot to die. You know, you're far away from everything. You have some rebound kite potential with factory. Basement is here, but eh, we don't really see Opera goes to basement. I don't, think, I don't think she can even drag there. Uh, but now, now it's going to be uh, Lucky's turn. Lucky is up next. He's going to have to come on in here. And who is over here? This is actually Lucky right here. Okay, Lucky, let's see what you got, buddy. Let's see what you got. Are we, we going to see Gun at all? He's stalling it out, stalling it out. Yep, you don't want to rescue immediately if you don't have to. Just stall it out. Just stall it out. Yep. Okay, now he's going to start moving on in here. Come on, Lucky. Takes the hit. Takes the hit. What the heck? Lucky guy is that skin? Okay, he's going to gun, gun. Oh, he thought about it. He thought about it. Now now Opera has to respect it. She has to respect it now. Uh, high key. Oh, don't use gun. Don't use gun. High key. Don't use it. Or just use it. Uh, okay, so I would have used gun after... Uh, <laughs> Because like, you have Tide. Now, let's see. It depends on how this kite goes. Uh, yeah, so the gun literally didn't... The gun bought five extra seconds. The gun, the gun you like you have Tide. Let, let, tide, let tide waste its time, and then... Uh-oh. And then you get... See, gun, gun would have been much better now. You drop down in there, then you get the rest. You use gun, and you escape from basement. Oh, boy. I mean, the Cyphers are going to be ready, but even then, I think Gun would have been much better now instead of, you know, while Cheese had freaking Tide. Because, like, what we'd be experiencing now would just be, like, five seconds earlier, which is fine. Um, although, I guess Gardner would not have been able to pop that Cypher uh, five seconds earlier. So maybe maybe the Gun was necessary. Who knows, dude? Who even knows at the end of the day? Okay. But, yeah, it does hit Gardner. And Lucky, it did, does Primus Heal. goes down. Would be nice to have that Gun right now, huh, Lucky? Sure it would. Careful now. Okay, get the rescue. Get the rescue. What the heck? Lucky skin is this, dude? Oh, but right, no BT on cheese. No BT on cheese. Again, why was the gun not used now? You should. You could have shot Opera, and then she hits. Or he. She hits you or whatever. Even when you get the rescue, then you shoot. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Wait, wrong gate though. Wrong gate. Oh, that's the wrong gate. Oh, is this a three? Is this a three man? No way. It might be a three. No. No, it should be a draw. It should be a draw. Wait, wait. She messed up her dash. She messed up her dash. Oh, that's a three man. That's 100% a three man. No way. All because she messed up her dash there at the very... Oh my gosh. Okay, Garen, I'm pretty sure if she didn't mess up her dash, she could have gone around the pallet and either hit Lucky or Barmaid. Dang, dude. 1Ks on both sides? All right, that's kind of what I like to see though. I like to see a more closer set. And here we are. It's round two, first half. And look at this. We're actually seeing a wax artist ban. They know that Cat Stink or S-T-N-K. I don't know if they pronounce it as Stink. I don't know. Um, but they play wax artists. We saw their wax artists in previous games. They have a very good wax artist. Um, I don't like watching the character. I think I mentioned that that times before. But I can't deny that their wax artist is kind of goaded. Uh, but they are going to opt to play Opera, which honestly, I'd rather watch Opera over wax. And uh, if they're more experienced with wax, then it, I guess it makes sense to... Uh, to ban the wax, even if Opera is the best. Um, but yeah, it is going to be Gardner, Batter, First Officer, and Toy Merchant. I'm really curious to see how Batter and Toy Merchant are going to play in this because, you know, Batter has some really fun harassment and Toy Merchant has some really cool uh, support. So let's see how this is going to go against an Opera Singer. Time for round two. Let's see, who is going to take the first kite? It looks like it is going to be the Batter who has full kite build. Opera, whoa, what the? That's kind of a jank build. Detention, blink, or, yeah, detention, blink, trump card. Uh, wanted order. Oh, fast picking up below. Oh, that's for batter. She has stun. No, she. I think she has some stun reduction. And she has, she can balloon faster. That's the faster balloon animation. That way, uh. Ooh, that was a good charge attack, but didn't quite, uh, didn't quite land there. First officer buying a good amount of time here with the watch. That's why you don't chase. Oh my gosh, I thought that hit. It would have hit if it, if it was the after image. My goodness. Yeah, that, that's why you don't chase first officer first. We know this because watch buys time. And there's the last tuning, or the th third tuning, but it was not in the range, so now Opera can see the uh, the officer. I guess she's really just trying to eliminate the Tide Turner user here. First officer does indeed have borrowed time Tide. Teleports, but uh, messes up the TP. I'm pretty sure that's not the clone that she wanted to jump back to. Uh, yeah, not, not the correct Shadow clone. Is that like a Naruto thing? He uses like Shadow clones, right? I've never seen Naruto. Oh, batter, batter. He's nearby, he's nearby. Oh, there's a second watch tuning. Oh! Wait, but the miss blink! The miss blink! And the bat! Yo! The miss blink onto the officer. Their second tuning of second watch. But it's not in the range, so as you can see. 
But she used up the blink, though. She used up the blink and missed. That's good. Oh, she knew. She knew. Yeah. She knew. He wanted to get the last tuning. Oh, no. He's dying in basement. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. How the heck is a Cypher at 40? How the actual heck is there a Cypher at 40? What is this? Yeah, die dying in the very deepest part of basement. Not great. Toy Merchant could come on in here since she can. She can actually go into two-story from hotel and fly all the way down in there. Um, actually, she's opting not to do that though. She does have Tide, so that's something. But with this, with this, uh, with Toy Merchant going down in, there, that's their one Tide user going down in. Uh, one Cypher is finished. Does she fly? Does she fly? She wants to take the hit first. Toy Merchant, come on now. Oh, that was drop down. Wait, it wasn't. It wasn't really. I thought that was drop down for sure. Okay, there's gonna get the rescue. It's before half. Oh, interesting. Wait, he has an elbow pad. Wait, she gave him an elbow pad. Yo, nice, 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 nice. That's drop down. 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 Dang, dude, that's super drop down. Oh, careful now, merchant. Careful. Oh, incorrect TP again. Okay, merchant gets out. Merchant gets out. Officer will not though. Will not. He will die right on this chair. Um, does she go back to basement? No, she's gonna chair right in front of that chair. Yeah, so he still he has an elbow pad to rebound with, but somebody else is gonna have to take the rescue. Most likely gonna be Gardner. Uh, maybe maybe Batter. Uh, no, it's gonna be Gardner. It's gonna be Gardner. Gunner can get a safer rescue, but Batter can also harass afterwards. Will we actually see any harassment from the Batter, though, is the big question. There's the bubble, yep. He can get closer to the chair thanks to the bubble. Good stuff from the Gardener. Very good plays. And careful of the Terror Shock now. Don't get Terror Shock. That wasn't a Terror Shock, but that's full Prez. And he elbow pads away. But I'm pretty sure with Opera's dash, he doesn't make it into uh, to the God Palette. Yeah, unfortunately. Even with the elbow pad, dude, Opera is just too fast. Now, if that was Batter rescuing... And we had some support. He probably would have made it. He oh, wait. Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. He he can't. He, he wanted to get the ball to, to drop him. But in fact, she got to the chair first. And then cancel, he canceled the chair putting in animation. Oh, opting to teleport to the cypher. Who is this? Who is this? Oh, it's Toy Merchant. I was like, why isn't anybody here? It's freaking Toy Merchant. Oh, boy. And somehow that doesn't hit, and she should be... Oh, good stuff to Toy Merchant. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Okay. Sorry, I know I'm, I've, I know I'm kind of biased to the survivors here, but I I like I like rooting for survivors when I see Opera Singer because she's the freaking best in the game. So it's like, you know, see, seeing counterplay against Opera is the most fascinating thing to me, at least, uh, when it comes to Opera games. Like, cause, cause she herself is just so dominant. But yeah, I don't really have a preference for each team winning this. Um... I just want to see some good games. That's just usually how it is uh, when it comes to Koa. Uh, the Cyphers are not bad, not bad. But Batter's going to have to get the rescue. Oh, is he rescuing before half? I thought he rescued after half. Okay, ball. And... No, now, he, now it's after half. Now it's after half. Now it's after... Now she wants to hit Batter. Now that's after half, she wants to hit Batter here. Oh, no! He canceled attack recovery! Batter! And he's got no ball. He's got no ball. Oh, my gosh. This is falling apart. This is falling apart. This is actually falling apart because it's after half now. He has to save. He has to save her. He has to save her. Come on, batter. Come on. It's not. He does not. He has no time. They have to finish the cypher that's at 47. There's not enough time. He only has one ball. And that's it. Nope. That's it. Uh, this, this batter, dude. He had to either just get in there immediately and get the rescue before half or rescue like way later because he, he showed up to try and rescue before half and then like threw a ball and then just kind of ran backwards yeah this 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 is a this is a dead game this is a dead game this is a 4k oh uh, it's just toy Mar toy merchant doesn't do well against opera batter is pretty hit or miss like I, it, I i can't i can't i can't imagine how hard it is to hit opera with how fast she is with the ball like when you do get the hit yeah it's really good but i can't imagine it's easy um but yeah, he does still have self-heal, and Opera's gonna try and slug it out. Gardner is at half health. Yeah, there, there's there's no coming back from this. I mean, we have seen, we okay, theoretically we have seen comebacks from this. Batter does have flywheel soon. He does have a ball. Um, so, you know, if, if they're still alive, that there there is a chance. And Gardner is just kind of hiding it out, but she's gonna, she's gonna have to like tap a Cypher here soon, otherwise she's gonna get Crows. Oh, she taps a rocket chair. I, I don't, I think maybe Gardner tapping a rocket chair will help her not get Crows. That could be a thing, but um, do we see tinnitus? Tinnitus, nice. 
No tinnitus. Wow. Sitting in the very corner to avoid tinnitus. Good stuff. Batter's fly was almost ready. Uh, is she going to opt to chair? Let's see. Nope. Not quite. Not quite. So the play here, I imagine, is wait for batter. Batter doesn't use a self-heal until one, either Gardner is found out, or two, he's about to like bleed out. Because Gardner is nowhere near dungeon. She's gonna have to, she, what Gardner has to do is she has to find like a chest to open. That's the thing. She has to find a chest to open and get like a syringe or something. Okay. Oh, she's heading toward the corner. The, the issue is the Gardner hiding in the corner is good because yes, no crows. But the bad thing about it, uh, she's gonna probably tap a rocket chair here. Let's see, bottom left. Just tap a rocket chair. Taps, rock, yeah, taps rocket chair, taps rocket chair so she can avoid crows. Good, good. But the thing is, she has nowhere to kite. That's the issue. If she if she gets found out in that corner, she has absolutely nowhere to kite. Oh, we truly are watching a bleed out fest here, bro. All right, I skipped ahead a little bit, and it seems so far that Batter is going to die here. She might actually opt to chair the Batter soon. That way, he can uh, she she can yeah, she's gonna chair Batter here surely. Yep, chair Batter, and he doesn't struggle. Oh, he is gonna struggle. But yeah, you, you chair you chair Batter here so that um. So that now he he has to sit, he has to th sit through his chair tongue because he was about to bleed out. So now now she's forced to chair. She is absolutely forced to chair. And the, the issue is the chair is at the dungeon, and Garner only has bubble. She only has bubble, and she's on the other side of the map. Like e even though they played this out, they actually got to the point where she's chair. The Garner just doesn't have a syringe or anything. If she had a syringe, then yes, I'd I'd say there's a good chance she makes it. But the the dungeon is on the actual other side of the map, and Arpa can just camp it. So yeah, you have bubble, but that's not going to be enough. I, I I don't think Gardner makes this. If she was at full health, I'd say yeah, there's a good chance. But um, yeah, once Batter dies, the the last crows are going to take effect, and she's actually running in right now. She is running in. Taps taps rocket chair. Does she go for does she go for a does she go for a chest or does she go? I feel like you need to open a chest here. You have to open a chest, surely. You gotta open a chest. Batter's like, yeah, yeah, she's near me, she's near me. Does she open a chest? She keeps tapping the rocket chair. Batter's about to die. Is she just gonna book it for dungeon? She can't make that, she can't make that. She can't, she's gonna have crows any second now. Crows, crows. She's, okay, she, no, she can avoid crows for, by tap, tapping rocket chairs. But she's still so far from the dungeon. Can she actually get this? There's no way, right? She's gonna tap rocket chairs all the way on her way. And she has bubble, but I don't think bubble's gonna be enough. Opera can even just body block it too. Okay, she's close, she's close, but six seconds is not enough. She has tinnitus. There's bubble, and it doesn't even matter. Oh, it doesn't. They sat for like six minutes, and it doesn't even matter. You needed to, you needed to be at half. You needed to be, or you needed to be at full health. She needed to take a risk and try to find a syringe. She was not gonna make that with bubble alone. I, I know she wasn't. Onward to round two, second half. We're going to see mercenary Melly, antiquarian, and embalmer. This is a pretty solid team, pretty solid team. The thing is, they have to uh, they have to get a 4k here to catch up. That GBB, they have to get a 4k right now. Uh, they're going to ban Priestess, Lawyer, oh my gosh. Priestess, Lawyer, Cheerleader, Airplane is banned, but they're going to be playing Lucino? They're actually going to opt for an Evil Reptilian when they need a 4k. Like, unless Rami here... No, I feel like I recognize it. I don't think they've played Lizard before. Do they really think Lizard can do this? Like, they have Embalmer to actually like secure like a 1 escape as well. Like this is not going to be easy to get a 4K on. I, I feel like, I feel like that opera game, really just hurt them there. Like the 4K really hurt them there so much. So unless unless GBB can get a 4K here, this set might just go to Team Cat. Here we are. Ooh, very pretty skin. I love the little crystals. Very pretty. He's, wait, you're actually gonna chase an antiquarian in hotel? Are you serious? He can jump all the way up there. I know that, but it's an antiquarian in hotel. Like, bro. Uh, we're gonna see detention, blink, trump card. I didn't get to look at the rest of the thingies. Okay, there's hit. There's little. There's flute use number one. Ooh, gotta be careful. Basin is actually here. Let's see. Builds are going to be um, full kite build on the embalmer. Oh, oh, the swing bait. There's a. Ooh, that hits. No way. No way that hits. Right? No way. Okay, drops the pallet. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, borrow time flywheel on the uh, antique dealer and Melly. We have full kite build on Embalmer. Ooh, swing bait, swing bait, swing bait. Still takes the hit though, still takes the hit. Still takes the hit. It's gonna be bar time uh, uh, tied on the Mercenary. And that, that, that's about it for the builds here. Um, drops pallet and then, oh, he got, oh, he, he, that was actually a prediction. 
She he predicted she, she would vault, but you don't need to vault because she has flip. She has flip there, um, and there's no reason to commit because if he dropped down on one side, okay. Was that necessary? Was that necessary? Oh, was it a blink avoid? Oh, the reaction to the blink! Yo, Antique Dealer's crazy with it. She's not blue bell blue, but she is cooking. Look out now, look out. Flute again, good stuff. Dude, Antiquan is so freaking cool, did I swear? Oh my gosh, she's so cool. Okay, now save, save the flute for one more stun. Get stuck on the lamppost. There's the last use of the flute though, last use of flute. You have to rock height the rest of this. Rock height, rock height. Palette mind game, palette mind game. Good, good. Good, good. Oh, going around, she, she should be dead here. No, yo, yo, buff his hitbox. His hitbox is so bad. Okay, she should be dead here, surely. There we go. Okay, pretty much three Cypher Kite, though. No support from the bees, either, because I guess he can just jump over the bees, so yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this is really good stuff for the Antiquarian, but again, he needs a 4K. He needs a 4K to catch up. Like, it is, the, what, what's happening here is not enough. That was a, that was a three Cypher Kite from the Antiquarian. And they still have Embalmer, they still have full bees, they still have full reset on everybody else. The only one low on reset is Antiquarian, who can kind of just be tied it off and coffined off death, and then they just like get a draw guaranteed or something. Uh, I don't I don't see how the, I don't see how they come back this. He does have jump. Does he get jump? Does he get jump? Let's see. Boom! He actually does get jump! He actually does get jump! He actually hit him with the grand slam. Yo, you gotta get this terror shock. Oh no terror shock, no terror shock. No terror shock, unfortunate. It should be a double down though, that's the thing. This should be double down. Does he go for hit here? Okay, that is double down. That is something, but I, I feel like it might be a little too late at this point. Mercenary can actually finish the, the middle cypher thanks to Tide Turner, and then he just dies. Oh gosh, look at look at the ciphers, dude. Look at the ciphers. Yep. Do they embalm Antiquarian? I don't think we saw Embalmer get close to Antiquarian, so she can't even get embalmed. But yeah, at this point, it doesn't even matter. Like both both ciphers are gonna be ready. They're gonna they're gonna finish. Like the Embalmer's gonna finish his cipher. Uh no, one cipher is frozen to 80. What? Who's leaving their cipher? Oh, is it? Melly is leaving her cipher. Melly, it's Melly. All right, Melly. It's Kongho Melly, too. That is Kongho Melly. Come on, Melly. I know you got this. I know I should be cheering for Lukino so I can see more games, but. Oh, they're, she's not rescuing. Nope, they're selling Anti. They're selling Anti. Yeah, they're just selling. They're just selling. Okay, well, well, I guess her job was just there to feed Tinnitus a little bit. Uh, bees are posted up here. Pulls back bees. Okay. The Cypher is at 80. They might have to open up a new one because he is at the Cypher that is at 80. He already does swap to TP. Okay, Melly at Hotel. Kind of, kind of camping Hotel a little bit. That's that's not a bad area to camp. Bees are there. He's a little lost. I can't even... He is a little lost. Goes around Bees. There's the jump. Fly was the Grand Slam. Bees. Oh, interesting. Hits the... Hits the interesting. Uh, I don't know why she just didn't go inside Hotel like that whole time. I feel like you do go in because the, then, then you can't get jumped on. The whole point of hotel is that there's a roof. Like go, going into places with roofs are so broken versus his character. Um, and the thing is, he kind he can't really teleport because if he teleports to Cipher, then they just then Melly just comes back and finishes this one. So he's kind of he's kind of stuck here. He has to patrol around the Cipher, camp it out, but he knows another one's being worked on. So at this point, it's just a draw. I don't know what Melly's doing. I actually have no idea what she's doing. Um, I really don't know what she's planning on here. Yeah, I, I really don't know what Melly is. I, I think she was trying to, like, stay nearby. But at that point, like, you know... You know that you don't need to even be there near that Cypher that closely. Oh, he's hitting the bees. No. Oh, and it's going to be Basement as well. Well, Mercenary's already here. Mercenary's already here. And the Cypher will be prime. The, the Cypher will be prime. So it's not really that big of a deal. But, um... It, do, it, does, it does hurt their rebounding... Uh, I guess, like, you know, chances at endgame because I have to get out of Basement first. So there, there's a chance for a 3k, I guess, at best. Uh, but I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, they do actually just pop there. Bees are there. Bees, yeah, bees don't really buy much time, unfortunately. Come on, Melly. I know you got this. Yeah, go up to the mercenary. Go up to the, let, let Melly escape. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Unfo oh, that actually used up his that actually used up his jump. Oh, that sucks. Okay, sometimes when your jump gets canceled by something above you, it do it actually like doesn't go into cooldown. But that time it did go into cooldown, so that kind of sucks for him. He has a lot of energy here, actually. Uh, he is gonna opt to teleport. Yeah, he's gonna opt to teleport. Yeah, cause he know he has to teleport here because uh, Embalmer coffined him. So now now he has to try and find the Embalmer, kill the Embalmer. Did he see him? Did he see him? No trail, no trail. He doesn't see him. He doesn't see him. He didn't see him. He didn't see him. Now he gets spotted out. There you are. There you are. Okay, he should be dead here. Just drop down, hit. Drop down, drop down. The flywheel. Ah, uh, still dies. Though. Still dies. Still dies. But now now they're at the other gate. So what you do here is you chair and you jump all the way to that other gate. 
You jump all- ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's too far. It's too far. Oh, uh, dude, it's too far. Yep, he can he can go boing, 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 but it doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't matter. He can boing all the way over. The, they just stop at mid-boing, bro. They don't even let him get to the gate. My goodness. Oh, uh, poor Lucino, bro. Poor Lucino. All right, so we do make it to round three. It's round three, first half. We're going to see Cheerleader Cheese. Wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Fool's gold? Yo, this is a hype matchup. It's Cheerleader Cheese, Aeroplane is batter, four hype characters. And it's Fool's gold, though. Fools go What are these spawns? What are these spawns? These are goofy spawns. Yeah, and of course the hunter just spawns right there. I don't know why batter's on its cipher bridge, because now now they're gonna just rotate on top of each other. I mean they might have some sort of plan, but I don't see it. Now they are behind quite a few points here, I believe by a whole five points. So they're gonna need like a a, a huge a huge win here or something. Um GBB that is. Cat cat can just chill and just you know play for draws or whatever. Um, we're going to see detention, trump card, uh, fa fast picking up balloon speed, and uh, berserk on the uh, on the persona. It is going to be Charles taking the kite. And you want to know why Charles is taking the kite? Because freaking everybody spawned in this one area. Uh, we're actually going to see three tide turners on this team. Borrowed time tied on everybody but the batter who has full kite build. Um, Oh, 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 I can't watch. That was dirty, dude. That, oh, Charles, you got done dirty, buddy. Oh, no. That is not what you need in a situation like this. He zoomed in to it, bro. He actually... Oh. Charles, bro. He actually jetpacked into the unstable ground. That sucks, dude. And he got hit by both hits because there was already an unstable ground there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and that's a no tide. That's no tide. Batter, you batter's gonna have to clutch up here. Yeah, you get that hover off, go all the way away. But he has blink. He has blink. He has rock. He's got everything, bro. At this point, batter, you gotta trust him like the entire game. You gotta do something here, man. You have to do something. Oh, man. Okay, okay. That's his last jetpack. Charles! Uh, Charles, that's the second time you ran into it. Charles! What? Charles! Okay, may high key, maybe Charles just sucks against Fool's Gold because his jetpacks are like kind of kind of hard to control. Bro, the way he just swings is so funny. But his, his attack curve is like, already up because of freaking Berserk. They can't even get the rescue. Oh. Nice. Nice, nice. And he just hits Charles. That's it. That's actually just it. That's actually just it. One Cypher is done. Bro, that's actually just it. He's literally just dead. He's actually just dead. Like, unless Batter can clutch up here, bro. It's literally up to Batter. Come on, Batter. Batter, you have to, gonna have to carry so hard here, buddy. He can just blink here. Maybe blink, blink, blink. Rock, rock. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He has blink. He still has blink. He just blinked down to the Batter, and that's it. He has to fly with a blink. No, no. Blink, blink. Doesn't fly with a blink. Yeah, doesn't fly with a blink. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. That is actually so rough. Bro, this this Charles, man. This Charles. He just... It's over. It's over. Dude, Fool's Gold cooked him so hard. He jetpacked into unstable ground two different times. The first time was like so critical because whenever Fool's Gold is uh, at low presence, right? He has to pull the pickaxe back after setting up the unstable ground to be able to actually damage. But since he already had an unstable ground set up on the area, Charles flew into it, took one hit when the pickaxe was thrown at it. And then when it was pulled back, he took another and then just went down to a basic hit. Like he actually just jetpacked straight into the wall. That's actually so unfortunate, dude. That is so unfortunate. And the one who has Tide is on the other side of the map. Oh man, it's it's over. It's a 4K. It's 4K. That that first kite was like, it, I, I hate to say it, but it was just really really bad. And that, that that fool's gold can just capitalize off it. Yeah, they they have access to dungeon now. Yippee! You've got access to the dungeon. But he, he can take his time. He can take his time. He's got one person on chair. And he, the, he knows like all the, the rest of the cypher is going to be on this side of the map. Because uh, there's there's one cypher over there. Nothing left on that side of the map. Now he, now he knows. Now he knows. To finish the cyphers, they have to go to the other side of the map. 
but they're gonna hide on over here. Spots out, cheese. He's gonna have to hop into his shovel or something. Yep, there's the shovel, there's the shovel. But it, it really doesn't matter, because you hit him, you got a good hitbox as full as gold, and then he can just, then he has to be careful here, because he can't go near walls. Huh? Oh, cheerleader. I was about to be like, how the heck did they do that? That's cheerleader. Uh, okay, cheerleader, cheerleader kind of helping out the, the cooldown refreshing, which is nice. But yeah, now, now he's got nothing to work with at all. He can go for full prez. He can't even go near a wall at all. Oh, jeez! Why? I don't know why they keep running. Do they not know how this character works? Like, they keep running into unstable ground. Like, I know you want to go into the pallet, but like, you can't because there's unstable ground. Oh my gosh. That, that's it, that's it, dude. That's a 4K. That's, that's it. Cat just takes it. They actually just take it. They were not ready for this fool's gold, dude. They were not ready at all. Like, there's not, there's nothing they can do. There's literally nothing they can do. Beep beep. It doesn't. He has blink up too. Blink blink. I would have just blinked there, honestly. Hi Ki, I would just blink there. Oh. What was was that lag? What the heck was that? Oh. Okay, that was kind of weird. All right, well now now you got blink. Is he not gonna use it? I mean, he doesn't really. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. This fool's gold, bro. This fool's gold is cooking. Like, that's actually just it. At this point, they're gonna do this the self heal strat where they just don't use their self heals. His self heals only at 42. He's just been crawling. He's actually just been crawling. Hi, Key, just chair. Don't waste your time, please. He's gonna chair. He's gonna chair. Yeah, he's gonna chair. He knows where Cheerleader is. He knows Cheerleader can't make dungeon. Yep, he's gonna teleport back. And. Yeah, he knows. Okay, she gets back up, but she's got nothing. She has one beep beep in a dream. That's it. One beep beep in a dream. But I'm pretty sure a 3k... Like, even if she somehow kites us out, a 3k, I'm pretty sure, uh, is enough for Cat. I'm pretty sure it's enough. Okay. Dude, they should have had this cheerleader take the kite. Like, seriously. She's been the one person who's able to unavoid, uh, avoid all these unstable grounds. Okay, okay. Beep beep, beep beep. And... Oh, she got hit. She got hit by full prez. She got hit by full prez. She has to use her other beep beep. She has to. Sets up the rock. Sets up the rock. Oh. What? Hello. What was that? Was that a red light basic attack? or Red light charge attack trick or something? That's it. That's it. That's actually just it. Good stuff to Team Cat. They kind of won that in a dominant fashion. My goodness. Double 4Ks back to back. I can't even lie. STNK is a great hunter. Uh, again, I, I'm not. I don't like the wax artist, but you know, I can't deny that that hunter is so good. Hopefully, they bust out that fool's gold again uh, in global finals. I, I actually can't wait to see that fool's gold in global finals. Hopefully, not the wax artist. <laughs> that that fool's gold though. That fool's gold cooked, bro. And there we go, everybody. That is going to be it for today. That was the end of the South Korea division qualifiers. So now all we have left to do is to watch the, uh, just catch up on the CN uh, mainland qualifiers and then watch the very ending of it this coming weekend. So pretty excited, pretty excited. We've almost watched every uh, every single Koa match. My goodness. The the CN mainland ones, there's a lot of those. I know we have to catch up on a good amount of sets, but we'll, we'll, be, we'll be sure of that in the days to come. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.